a cold war i want to quickly talk about these amazing converses that he put together also because if ever there was an illustration of how incredibly creative and out of the box a cold war is and what they do i think these are legitimately one of the best expressions of it because if you look at this shoe i think it's pretty much impossible to look at this if you had no idea what the shoe was prior to all you had the title wasn't there there's no way that you would think this was a converse no way shape or form it looks incredible and if you can't see this picture it's essentially looks like something you might see from you know any number of fashion brands out there but it's essentially like a sock type runner with a lace that goes through the middle of the shoe it's all kind of felt like a some sort of a one-piece design very sleek with this really exaggerated heel i'm oh, sorry it's a really exaggerated outsole midsole type of good garb and it's got like a speckled type of design i'm assuming here which is kind of a sail with some bits of concrete gray you'd say with the logo a cold wall there but it's a very futuristic type looking of design but you would never imagine this being a converse so i just love the ability to take such a classic silhouette like a converse or whatever or no to taking a brand like converse and kind of essentially pulling it kicking and screaming into the 21st century because it's sort of like the reverse of reebok kind of it feels like reebok are sort of struggling to get people to care about anything other than their reebok classics and maybe their courts and maybe the c reebok and all those other things they try and put out there make people buy but are terrible but converse have the luxury of being able to have people be super happy with their converse highs their lows and some of their skate you know lines and stuff because they're essentially iterations and edits of the same sort of silhouette they don't really go you know i think they've got a slip on that looks like a skate slip on but essentially they all kind of occupy the same sort of space but they've also got the ability to take chances with stuff like this with rick owens collaboration the cold war collaboration they can take some chances and try out new silhouettes try out new styles um you know add on top of stuff they already have in the works because it's a great way also to introduce people to a new silhouette if they're not really you know um ready to invest in buying a pair of converse that look like this maybe stamping um or maybe having pulling in a cold war and using their kind of you know stamp and their appeal and their taste level and aesthetic to kind of sell this maybe makes more sense but i just love what it looks like as a shoe i think it looks absolutely brilliant really really good and they come in both colorways they come in this kind of white sailly type colorway um which kind of has if you look really closely but there you kind of have a faint logo of the converse one star here at the back which is pretty cool i love that um because essentially it looks nothing like a converse one star whatsoever and then you continue on here you've got this other color which is even better i think and it kind of you know it reminds you of this colorway i'm not too sure if this is the inspiration but it sort of reminds me of the kim jones nike collab from ages ago i think i don't know if you remember these but these are really nice and i wish i flipping was able to get a pair i never actually did manage to get some but they were amazing they were like a okay it's not it's not this one it's not this vault i've got this other one here on screen now let me show you it's not this vault air max 95 which are pretty cool too and again kim jones has got that canny ability to do this sort of stuff because he essentially comes from the there you go i found it he comes from the same place that i do in terms of being obsessed with streetwear and then using that to parlay into fashion if i'm not mistaken he's very familiar and friendly with the guys who used to run hideout and stuff so it makes sense he's able to put together a flipping stellar stellar F, um mx95 i didn't even recognize the mx95 that he made has got an icy sole at the bottom of it holy smokes is that available let me see how much they go for on StockX. because that shoe is absolutely incredible i forgot how nice it is it's going for see this is what i mean about sneakerheads nowadays you sneakerheads out there you are so boring right if this shoe is only 100 and flipping 80 dollars and you're out there buying the same jordan one every single flipping release come on man have a little bit more creativity and inventiveness when it comes to shoes that you want to buy so if i did want to purchase these in a let's say 10.5 which might be my size nowadays because unfortunately i don't fit into a uk 10 you know clean anymore like i did in the past but you're telling me they have a pair available that i can buy for 250 that is crazy i need to put this on my list i was waiting for the thing to load properly but that air max 95 kim jones total Votal is apps sorry total vol if you haven't seen it is really 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 nice so let me just add these to my things when it loads let me add it now because that looks absolutely splendid i'm gonna oh i'm gonna follow the item so i know 
when to purchase these when I end up getting some pee. But yeah, let me get the 11.5 and add that to my list. But these look absolutely incredible. And like I said, I didn't know they had an IC sewer either. They look really, 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 really good. So let's go back and I'll show you the ones that I think the Cold War ones are kind of based on, if I'm not mistaken. Because they're really an underrated shoe that didn't really get the props that they probably deserved. But uh, Kim Jones collaborated with Nike. And I think I don't think they're an original shoe that he designed for the ground up. I think it's just a retro that he ended up being doing being able to do a colorway for. But it's these ones. The LWP. Is that what yeah, Air Zoom LWP Kim Jones. There's two colorways. There was this one was a purple version also, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's the version there. See? That's the color. So if I go here, Kim Jones nike lwp we should hopefully see the purple version also is it purple oh no okay it's black my bad my memory is so horrible so i guess those these are the colorways that came out so that a cold war vault type colorway that i just showed you there from the converse reminds me slightly of these let's see there it reminds you a little bit of those where's oh, this one right don't you think so there's they look they look kind of similar the sort of colorway and what he kind of went for maybe that was the inspiration behind him, i'm not too sure but regardless this converse thing looks great i also like the fact that he didn't do what a lot of designers will probably be tempted to do where you kind of add the brand name along the taping here on the neoprene sock section right i guess that'll be really tempting obviously you know maybe with the massive a cold war sort of like look you know it also reminds me of this i like this is like it might be applied. Do you remember that gun that everyone was using for a while? There was this gun that you could buy that was essentially like a, um, I don't know how you printed it actually, but essentially you could input text into it and it would print on a t-shirt, like, you know, kind of you know, print words and stuff. And people were using that for a while to do little one away, um, you know, presses of t-shirts you know, for a private view or for a little project they were doing as well so maybe that kind of reminds you of that kind of print and i think it's the same sort of gun that you use if you're working in a factory and you want to label a box you kind of use it and it kind of just runs across so you kind of have that kind of digitized sort of vibe so still maybe with those big acws on the side you don't need to have a cold or written on this taping core that gets the point but i still think the the resistance to do that is great and there's lots of tonal hits as well that i like here with this kind of you know embossed on the side the logo here which is really cool um there's a bit of text towards the back of the hill which may be a bit excessive but i don't mind to be honest but overall i love the shape and i love everything about it now i want to read here is this actually a converse one star or an all star or is this actually it's a different shoe cool that's it it's a converse geo former boot so let's see if this actually looks the same because i don't actually know if this base model is actually the same thing but he's just maybe added a zip onto it let's see what it looks like um so okay is this the first time they've put it out maybe it is because i don't see anybody else selling or showcasing a pair of them that just look plain quote unquote you don't necessarily see them do you what we will see here when we, when we click them online is we see converse um geo former boot and all we see are the ones that are called all done and obviously this this one also is really nice as well the classic one star that they put together i don't see any other version of them that doesn't look like a one star so that's a bit strange isn't it um what is this off-white chucker did this actually come out i don't remember these but yeah so these look pretty cool regardless um it says here we've now taken a closer look at the first two colorways launching of the futuristic silhouette intended to be an avant-garde take on the classic chuck taylor all-star okay cool there we go so it's like an updated chuck taylor essentially that makes a lot of sense then um so I, I wonder if the other versions of this when they do come out and the, the sort of essentially the gr version if they'll have these just regular with laces or maybe there are laces underneath this i'm not too sure anyway continue to it says intend to be the avant-garde take on a classic chuck taylor all-star the boot sees technical uppers matched with a chunky geometric outsole available in vault or lily white the outsole sees speckled rubber with um angular color placements and given a boot a depth that's often found in bodywork of exotic car for more snug fit the geo formula employs a mixed neoprene upper with stretch and replaces the laces with a front zip okay so there's no laces just a front zip sweet um so if you've got fat feet like mine you might have to struggle in these but we're going to give these a go branding can be found all over the boot um the cold war converse gr former boot set to retail for 150 dollars oh so that's what i mean what how are new balance getting away with selling us the same shoe for 250 pounds every single flipping year yet converse can sell us something like this for 150 dollars like why go on for this man um, it'll be available to purchase on a cold war on December the 17th, followed by Converse and Sec retailers globally on December 20th. 
bomber rotted. I'm a fan, man. I love these. I think it looks absolutely banging. And I think there's some, as I said, there's some cool images of people wearing them. I think there's a shoot with um, Lancey Foe where he's got them on, right? If I'm not mistaken. Is there, did I see him there somewhere? Is that him there? Okay, it's just a model maybe. Okay, cool. But regardless, I like them anyway. I think they look sick. I'm a big fan. Definitely would rock these. If I had to go for a colorway, I'd probably go for the that that vault colorway. This they look look wild in it. Maybe in terms of like what I wear, the whites would come better. But I think that vault black colorway is like smacking, smacking. I'd love to wear these in the dance at a rave. You know what I mean, all black like this. Do, 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 do. Big boy steppers. But yeah, these look sick. Really big fan of these. Um, when they drop, I shall be attempting to cop. But hey, let's see. And just before Christmas as well. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see.